Whether it was a cool dip or just staying inside with the AC on, many folks across the state spent the day trying to escape the heat. And as Jake just mentioned, we've got at least another day before a brief reprieve. WBZ's Tiffany Chan caught up with some folks trying to stay cool today. As the day winded down, there were still plenty of people along M Street Beach in South Boston taking a dip in the water and laying out as temperatures soared to the mid-90s. Uh, made better by the ice cream, but yeah, it's, it's way too hot. Along Newbury Street, this ice cream was no match for the heat and heavy humidity. It created quite the sticky mess. It's definitely a challenge. Um, I don't have the talent to eat it fast enough, so <laughs> I do not win in the summer, but yeah, it melts pretty fast. And it is the perfect day for a cold treat since it is National Ice Cream Day, but Mayor Marty Walsh says even though it is so hot outside, people still have to avoid large crowds and to wear a face mask unless they can stay six feet away from people, even though it is so muggy out. I'm pretty used to it by now, and honestly, I'm a little sunburnt, so the, the bandana is kind of nice to keep the sun off the back of the neck. The sun was too much to handle for this family from the North Shore, seeking shade for some relief. Ducking into stores here and there, try to mooch off their AC a little bit. Southie shoreline, many people we saw embraced the sun, minus the face mask. As people crowded the beaches, Danielle Wood says she's not taking any chances with COVID-19. I'm worried about the tan line. I mean, worried about the tan line, but more worried about our health and safety, so I'm totally fine with wearing it. It's definitely really hot, but we're getting used to it. In Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.